Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to chip a Mark III Volkswagen ECU. If by the end of this video you have any doubts in yourself, please just take it to your local shop and have them do it, even if it costs you a small fee. It's not worth breaking something and I can't be held accountable for any mishaps you might have. So let's get started. Before you guys start, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, either a 10 millimeter wrench or socket. I'm using a socket and ratchet, it's a little bit easier. By now I already assume you have your performance chip and a cup or a bowl to put your nuts and bolts in. The ECU of a Mark III Volkswagen is located under the hood. So now that you got your hood popped, what you're going to want to do is locate the passenger side rain tray, which is at the very bottom of the windshield underneath your passenger windshield wiper. It's this little plastic tray right here and underneath of it is where your ECU is located. As you guys can see the ECU is held on by this weather strip which you can just remove by pulling up. You don't have to remove it completely from the car just place it on the side it'll be safe and held on by these little plastic screws and there's usually four of them but I only have three. So what you're going to need is your Phillips head screwdriver but impossibly your flathead screwdriver if they're a little bit tricky for you. Now that I got my Phillips head screwdriver, what I'm going to do is just unscrew them and that what happens is the top separates from the bottom half and it'll rise up and then you just pull them out and that's what they look like. Once you guys get all those removed, the next thing that's holding back your rain tray from coming free is this little thing here. You're going to slide it to your left and there your rain tray will loosen from the right side of you and now be able to be lifted freely from the car. Pulling your rain tray out, be careful because on the corner back there it sticks up below. And once you have your rain tray back, you can see right here is your ECU. And here are the two bolts that are holding your ECU on. So the next thing you're going to want to grab is your 10 millimeter wrench or your 10 millimeter saw. Alright guys, well, once you get your 10 millimeter wrench or ratchet, you're going to go ahead and uh, loosen up these two bolts that are holding it down. Alright, once you guys get your uh, bolt here removed and your knot here loosened, there's little plastic clips that attach to the wire down here on the that goes to the ECU. This one right here you only need to usually pull up on and it will the wire will slip out. There's two of them, so I suggest just popping them out, make it a little safer so you don't damage them They're fragile. Once that's out, the ECU should move pretty freely. You might have to take a little wiggling as you can see to get it, get it out of the end. Alright, so the only thing holding on your ECU now is the wiring harness and it simply detaches by pulling up on this little plastic uh, handle and you basically pull it up and you're going to make sure you want to pull it all the way up and then what it does is it detaches itself from the ECU now your ECU is free and now we're going to go inside and tear it apart and put your performance chip in. Alright guys, now we're in the house, we're going to go ahead and rip apart the ECU and install the performance chip. Um, working in a static free environment for the most part, not wearing any sweatpants or sweatshirt that might cause static. Touch metal or something before you start too to help get rid of any static charge you might have. Static electricity destroys electronics when we're working with electronics. And you're also going to want to grab yourself a T15 Torx fit screwdriver or a similar sized Allen head and a flat head screwdriver again, but a little bit smaller because you're going to be prying that ECU chip out. So, first, what we're going to do is remove this metal bracket off the back of the ECU and if you can tell it is held on by four screws in each corner and we're going to remove them with our Phillips screwdriver and take the back out. Alright guys once you get those four screws off your brackets off and now we're ready to start ripping apart the actual ECU itself. Now that you have the bracket removed from the ECU we're going to go ahead and disassemble it and to do this there are four Torx screws on each corner you're going to take your T15 Torx screwdriver or similar Allen head and remove each one. Now that you have removed all the Torx head screws, I suggest finding a piece of metal to touch to discharge any electricity you might have. The desk I'm working on is uh, metal, so I'm going to touch that. And now what we're going to do is separate the black part from the silver part of the ECU 
and it just take it might take a little effort just wiggle it very lightly if you're having a little bit of issue you can use your little screwdriver to pry it apart mine popped apart so now i'm going to remove it very carefully all right now here's your ecu this is what they all should similarly look like this is particularly for my vr6 so it might have a little bit more might have a little bit less than yours and the stock chip is right here located in this corner if you can see and that's the chip that we're going to remove and we're going to replace with this which is our performance chip that we now will get hopefully get some more horsepower out of and more miles per gallon all right now we're going to remove the stock chip and replace it with your performance chip uh, things you might use to do this are a flathead screwdriver mine's a little bit too big so I'm going to use a screwdriver and delicately pry from these two corners to get underneath of it they're the ones with the opening and try to pull it up uh, I'm a little bit more gung-ho with this because I have a backup but if you feel like you're going to break something I, I suggest stop and take it to somebody there might be a tool that is meant for this but this is how this is all I have to work with at the time being so I'm going to use a screwdriver to uh, remove it so, I'm going to put it down, push up, and well, this chip popped right out for me, no issues. Here's your stock ECU chip, once again, and here's the board with the stock chip removed. Now, you're going to grab your performance chip, flip it over. Now, when you look at it from the bottom, you will see that there are four corners. One of these corners is not uh, an actual corner but is like a cut corner and if you look on the board on mine it is the bottom left right here the bottom left corner where the notch is instead of the point and you're going to line it up with your chip and that's the way your chip's going to pop in your board now once you have those you have you see where they go you're just going to put the chip right on top try to be careful you don't want to force it and bend anything I'm going to set it down here just to be careful yeah, and there we go now the chip is back in, into where it's supposed to be mine has this little extra board on it I forgot to mention earlier not all chips have that I'm not exactly sure why this one has it I've seen them before and I've seen on my other car that it does not have this board so you might have it you might not if not you're just going to take that little chip which should resemble the one you have if you don't have a board type set and push it in the same way now as I saying you're going to just basically reassemble everything put all your uh, screws back together and enjoy your new performance chip in your car alright guys once you get your ECU back assembled and basically you just do everything again to put everything back on your car and hopefully once you get it all back together you enjoy your new ECU chip and you get some more horsepower out of it maybe some more miles per gallon uh, if you like what you saw you have any questions if I forgot something I uh, hated what you saw you can leave it below in a comment box and I'll be sure to read it and maybe respond to it if I need if needed if you like what you saw or also hated what you saw there's a little subscribe box up here you subscribe to my stuff show me a little love some support or just get to watch my videos and hate on me more. Any support helps, good or bad. So, hope you guys have a good day. Enjoy your car. As always, peace and pancakes.